What's happening, everybody? Hey, y'all. Hey, it's Beachin' with the Boons, and today we're going to take you on an afternoon drive right here on the Myrtle Beach Boulevard. Right here on Ocean Boulevard. That's right, and we're falling on the intel of spring break 2024. Yep, and we started this video back at the Sea Captain's house, and this time we're going southbound for a little ways to see what it's like while the weather is getting a little bit warmer and people are it was pretty busy for our spring break it was but you say a little bit warmer but we did have a cold snap come in over the weekend and the temperature today is 64 and that sea temp is 62. a lot of you ask what the sea temp is and it is 62 degrees out there so that's kind of chilly it is I, there was a few people <laughs> jumping in it because it was sunny but i'll have to wait until it gets a little bit warmer right as we saw people as we rode by and visit some of our friends and family in the resorts that this weekend there were people out there swimming and having a good time so right here is magnolias on 26th and we've done a video a few years ago on that which is a nice little restaurant it's got country cooking buffet and lunch and dinner you like that kind of food I mean, and breakfast <laughs> oh yeah breakfast if you like that kind of food that's for you that's right look at there sailing and i think that might be a new name or is that no, a, that's a, that's i a, thought it was a band oh all right and there's the carol carolina and let's see carolinian resort the palms resort oh that's nice mm -hmm. and there's the dayton house which showed up on our top 10 resorts here in myrtle beach this is true if you get a chance go check that one out it's very nice <clears throat> house. and as you're going to find whenever you come down here this summer a lot of the elevators will make you use your room card just to get on which is you know to keep vagrants out and yeah. just different things like that for people who don't belong in the hotels right some of the nicer the newer or nicer there's boardwalk which they tore uh, one of those buildings down already and it is, is it right yes yeah, on the other side of that one i think we're coming up on ocean 11. um so we're under the breakers up here see how okay. clear that is what oh that one looked like ocean 11 that's not not what is that yeah ocean 22. i always say ocean 11 but it was ocean 22. Ocean 11 is the movie. Ocean 11. So here's the Breakers, right up here on 21st Avenue. Let's see here. Now one day I do want to get out and like walk around Breakers. I keep on telling you that, but we never find time. One day we need to find time. Look at all these cool little restaurants down here. There's that- um, Strong Waters. Yes. What is that? They have like cocktails and it's just a little dining place. <clears throat> Then right here they got this what's papa's pizza place a breakfast at the beach oh yeah. papa's breakfast okay pretty neat yes. and then there's one of my favorites down here which is lulu's i love lulu's breakfast place right it's not something <laughs> look he's got a speaker on his car oh wow on the top and bums you don't like bums i thought you liked i do bums. i like bums too oh, okay but I like Bums for, Because it's know, on the ocean. Yes. It's got a great view. I love the view. But the food is really good at Lulu's. It is. But the atmosphere is awesome at Bums. You're right. The huge Surfside Beach Festival. It is End of this month. Saturday, May the 4th. May oh, the 4th be with you. May the 4th be with you. So that's not until May. So you don't want to miss that. It's a huge Surfside Beach Barbecue Festival. And this is also the same weekend as the food truck festival but hang on one second so right over here they've roped off i think that's where margaritaville is going to be right here what okay. see how they got it roped? I, I see that but i don't know if they saw it. and um so right now it's like i said the food truck festival yes 2024 food truck festival it ran from friday saturday and sunday it was 11 to 6 Friday and Saturday and 11 to 5 today. And boy, is it busy down here. It sure is, because like Honey Bee said, it was the end of uh, spring break. 
Now, on the food truck, you know, they moved that down there to where they have the Jeep Jam. That's right. That's which right. is called the... That is where the Coastal Grand Mall used to be. That is great. On 25th Avenue, I do believe. They moved the food truck festival down there because they had so many food trucks this year. And uh, it, there was just a lot more parking. The Funplex is rolling. Of course, the Sky Wheels always rolling. And Legends is pretty good. We eat there a good bit. They have good wraps and burgers. And Legends Sports Bar. That is great. And the Yachtsman's right there. Is it? I guess a lot of schools are still out. I think so. I think they're out. Some of them were out last week, and some of them, I guess, just got out last Sunday. Oh, so maybe we're in the middle of spring break. Maybe. But I know a lot of people are not going to school tomorrow. Hmm. On Monday. So they get that one more day. There's an Olympic Flame Pancake House. It's pretty good breakfast if you're down on this side of Myrtle Beach. Check them out. They got all kind of breakfast items. Mm -hmm. And here's the beach house and riptides over to the left. Mm, now the beach house is pretty good. Yeah, the beach house is packed today. Look at that. You can sit right there on the boulevard. And just watch. If you're a people watcher, you can just watch people going by all the time. Is it going to go? I don't think so. Okay. okay. Yeah. Always remember to pay the meters. These parkings that you see is like this green one right here with the big P. Those are like ten to twenty dollars. Um, I think a full day, right, to park. I think it's twenty dollars a day, yeah. But if you park at the meter, it's like two eighty five. If you pay per hour, you know, like if you're gonna go get something to eat. All right, we'll let that truck get out of our way. And they have started the one way. You know how they only do like on Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. You can only come down one way and you can't go the other way. They have started that this weekend. So is that why no one's on that other side? That is correct. Huh. Yes. So we actually, we actually turn right this time. Right. So that's what they got. And if you're unfamiliar with this area, this is where you can get all your, your uh, tattoos and all the tourist Attractions are right down here. Your henna tattoos, and, um, the gay dolphin, pizza. Now we did a uh, cheap eats down here. That was good. Mm -hmm. You got, of course, t shirts all over the place, t shirt shops. Ripley's Amazing Golf, Crazy Golf, and all that. Yeah. Peach's Corner. The super fun zone. And so they are forcing us to turn. Look, oh, babe. wow. We don't even get to go all the way down. All right. We'll pick course, it back up turn. on the other side. That's right. We're going to turn where the um, pavilion used to sit. We had to swing around because of the one-way traffic right there at the pavilion. And if you look straight ahead, they have removed the zip line. Look at that. Wow, that didn't take long. I mean, I think it was there yesterday. I'm not sure. That one will be next. That's right. Okay. So remember, if you're coming down here, it's normally the first week of spring break. They will close this down to one lane. Only on the weekends, I think. Only on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sundays. And you can only go one way on the boulevard to control traffic. Now, over here, um they've got the apartments that you said that are coming up with shops underneath yes. and we just passed two new restaurants which is the baywatch grill bar and grill and the mediterranean yes i want to try those out one day all right so that's two things that are that are new to the boulevard And Bucket Motel. And Bucket Motel. Now that cash grocery, we used to stay behind there before they tore down the Marjo Villa. I still want to try that um, pizzeria one day. Okay. So now there's the Bay View on the boardwalk. That's a pretty nice one. So do you want to tell them about what's coming up? May Cinco de Mayo around May the 4th? 
What? <laughs> it's May 5th on Sunday. It's oh. Cinco de Mayo Day, and Myrtle Beach is going to have a bar crawl. So I think it starts at Sharky's, and like there's five or six bars that um, have decided to participate in this bar crawl, and it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. It will start at 12 o'clock and go until 5 or 9. I'll have to check for you and give you a little bit more information on that. Okay. And don't forget, down in Merle's Inlet, they also have the Merle's Inlet Masters Putt Putt going on next weekend down there in Merle's Inlet. That's right. You might so, want to go and check that out. And Surfside also have an old timey car show going on this weekend. I always forget that now an antique is just 20 years old. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I've heard too. That means all of our cars are antiques. <laughs> And so right in here is the Second Avenue Pier Wicked Tuna, which is a great place to get some seafood. And they have a delicious happy hour. They, that's right. Mm -hmm. Where you come from? Um, so you said May the 4th. That would be May the 4th be with you. May the, yes, which is your you favorite said, day. Yeah. Your favorite holiday. Which is actually Stanko de Mayo. So. I said Stanko de Mayo day. <laughs> Not Cinco de Mayo. That's right. Yeah. And we're coming up on the Family Kingdom that you can see is open and waiting on you guys to participate. Or waiting on you guys to come and ride all their rides and everything. Right. And that's the Bar Harbor. A lot of people, they love the Bar Harbor. Believe it or not, a lot of people that commented, mm -hmm. they that's love good. it. There's Ocean's One Resort. And so that's a, <coughs> if you um, do happen to stay down here and you love somewhere that you stay, comment below so other people can see that might be wanting to come on, you know, down here this summer or, right. or the fall. It's really nice during the fall too. Mm -hmm. And so if you look right to your left there, this is where Splash's water park was and they removed it. And we're still wondering what's going to come up there if anything at all now this doesn't usually oh it's already open i was about to say it doesn't open until around four it's 5 20 now that's and that's the uh, family kingdom right it is family kingdom and there's uh drafts or is that drafts yeah Drafts sports bar <laughs> it's like the lot flume going so if you are coming down, check the weather because it's been very sketchy in the past couple of months. We're like wearing summer one day, people are bathing suits, and then you're in winter in cowgirl boots and everything the next day. <laughs> That's right. So. so this is gonna probably conclude our tour down Ocean Boulevard here for uh, April. Make sure you like and subscribe to keep up with what's going on around the beach so you can keep beaching. All right, and hope to see you in the next video.